The last marathon I raced was the Twin Cities Marathon in October. I missed a sub 3 by 3 minutes and 4 seconds. 259 days feels like a long time since I've raced a marathon. First day seemed like a week. And the second day seemed like 5 days. And the third day seemed like a week again. Since then I ran, not raced, surfed the Murph 50 miler with Erica. I was a pacer and a half and full marathon. 72 days ago I DNF'd at the Zumbra 100. It was finally time for me to battle the clock at Grandma's, and I wanted it. Now who wants it? I want to know! Who yes. wants this? Who wants to get a meet on right now? I... Who wants it? I want it! I want it! Yeah. My former roommate JD was going to run his first full marathon and joined Eric and I to get to the start. He decided we were going to use aliases for signing up for the show. He was Pete Mitchell, I was Nick Bradshaw, and Erica was Carol Bradshaw. Hey Goose, you big stud! That's me, honey! We mainly reminisced about race stories. Well, we Thank you. started up on his six when he pulled through the clouds and then I moved in above him. We got to the start and it was raining cats and dogs. And sometimes rain even seemed to come straight up from underneath. I planned on running with my co-worker and my training partner, Joe, but I couldn't find him at the start. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton I do. I stuck with my and Joe plan, and at about mile 7.5, I heard another co-worker who was spectating yelling for him. He was about 100 yards ahead. I decided I was going to slowly try to catch him, and not blow all my energy to get to him. Every time I sped up, though, he sped up. Continued on for a long time, and at mile 19, the turns in town began, and I couldn't see him anymore. And like that, he's gone. Jake, Kyla, Abby, and Grandma were at miles 6 and 19. After running the half, Sav and Jen were at about mile 25 and 3 quarters. My hope was that I was going to be able to see Joe when I got to the top of Lemon Drop Hill. But he had dropped the hammer and my surges were about the same as everybody else's at that pace. Joe ran a heck of a race and finished in 2 hours and 54 minutes. I came in at 2 hours 56 minutes and 56 seconds, under 3 which was my goal. I was super excited and I wanted to tell my late, fast, sweet dog. Erica and JD both ran impressive races. Erica ran her second fastest marathon time ever, and JD finished a full hour ahead of my first marathon time. Then, we, in the biz, like to call party time. It was a heck of a run. Don't, don't.